Welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks everyone that is currently here and has been uh, following along with the progress of, uh, of this camper van build that I've been working on lately. Um, always appreciate uh, new viewers, new subscribers. Just got a couple more recently today. Um, that's always cool, you know what I mean? Um, that I'm putting out stuff that people actually find interesting or useful to them in their own life or in their own situations and stuff. Um, so that's cool, you know what I mean? Always cool to have new people discover the channel and stuff like that. Um, it is Sunday, uh, January 30th, 2022. And I say that because there's been a misconception. Um, a lot of people think that um, the upload date of when a video is posted they sometimes think that that's the same exact time of when the video was recorded. Um, and sometimes that can be true, you know, if I record a video and then I upload it the exact same day. But oftentimes that's usually not the case. You know, I'll record something and then usually it won't be posted maybe for like two or three days, unfortunately, sometimes. Um, and then people will get confused if they're following along. They'll think, well, he was working on this or that and now he's working on this all of a sudden like why you know because they're thinking that it's that same day that it was uploaded and like i said sometimes that's just not the case you know what i mean um so just for clarification you know the date on the upload does not necessarily reflect the actual date of when the video was recorded you know so now that we got that cleared up and out of the way we're going to move on and talk about uh the camper van progress that we got going on so far so like i said you know it's a 2002 mercury villager which is the exact same thing as a nissan quest of that same year um and 2002 was the last year um for the mercury villager nissan quest collaboration after 2002 the nissan quest no longer had a merger or partnership with mercury and at that point forward the Nissan Quest was just its own thing. It was like actually a Nissan Quest. This van is not really a Mercury. This van is a Nissan. It, the engine, transmission, all the electronical components and sensors and stuff are all Nissan and are all Japanese. So it is technically a Nissan Quest, just branded Mercury for sale in the U.S. market. You know what I mean? So <laughs> now that we got that out of the way, um, like I said, it's a 2002 Mercury Villager Nissan Quest. Um, it's got the 3.3, not the 3.0. It's got the 3.3 liter V6 engine, making about 170-ish power. Um, and uh, it's a pretty cool van for what it is. I got all the rear seats removed, obviously. The middle two pop-outs are out. I got the third row bench removed. Got all that cleared out. I need all the space I could possibly get because I prob probably will be sleeping in this van from time to time, installing, you know, putting bikes in here, maybe a kayak, canoe, r random stuff, you know what I mean? Also got the roof rack up on top of the roof for other uh, storage and carrying uh, possibilities and stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, what I've been working on lately is I've been foam insulating the uh, ceiling, the roof panels of this van, as you can probably see in the background. I'll get my camera going there. I've got some spray expanding foam insulation on the roof panels. And the reason we're doing that is because I don't know if you know anything about, you know, temperature control insulation or like radiant heat or how any of that stuff works. Um, but so technically, um, if you think about it, the roof of your car is the uppermost top part of your car. You know, is the roof, right? That is the very first thing that the sun hits because it's at the top. And when it hits that, it heats up because it's metal, you know, and bare metal contracts heat. It, it will contract anything that is the environment. If it's hot outside, it will contract all the heat and if it's cold it will contract all the cold right it vice versa you know um so when it's hot outside that sun hits this roof heats it up like to over like 100 degrees like no kidding right um and all that heat collects 
and builds up and it creates radiant heat and that radiant heat is what builds up inside the car that's why you got to crack your windows and have reflective uh, sun visors and stuff in your windshields and stuff in the summertime to keep that heat out and to keep the inside of the car cool you know because it's bare metal if you've ever I don't know if you've ever left like a like a metal wrench or a metal ratchet or a tool out laying somewhere outside in the summertime and then later went to pick it up and burnt the hell out of your hand when you touched it that's because metal is a huge conductor of heat or any temperature like like i said heat and cold you know and it's no different for the roof it's bare metal that sun hits it 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 heats it up that thing gets scorching hot and all that heat has to go somewhere so it builds up inside the car so by foam insulating the roof panels, we are putting a protective barrier layer between that metal and between the outside of the car, right? So now it's going to be so much harder when that sun hits that roof for it to penetrate through into the inside because it's got all this expanding foam that's going to have to try to get through. And I don't know if you ever noticed this before, but if you ever look at a lot of coolers and stuff, because I don't know about the expensive ones, but I do know for a fact, like the cheap, normal, like Coleman igloo coolers and stuff like that. Um, if you look inside, there's two layers, right? You got an outside and an inside, and you got the hollow inner chamber of the of the wall. Inside that wall is usually filled with a uh, some sort of spray foam uh, insulator, to, and that's how coolers typically work, especially on the plastic ones. You have that spray foam inside the walls. And that keeps the ice and everything inside of that cooler cold and keeps the hot air from getting in and vice versa. And it works the exact same way on, on the van, right? We insulate this, we keep all that hot air out, prevent it from getting in, and we keep all the cool air and keep that inside the van. That's what we want, right? Okay, so I'm not quite done with it yet. Um, I've got to like three panels and even they're not completely done. I still have to add on to those. And I still got these two. These are the last two, though. These two front uh, panels I still have to get to. But after I get all these roof panels completely covered, foam insulated, then we're going to be putting up some sort of ceiling. And I'm not sure exactly how we're going to do it, if it's going to be like a thin wood, plywood layer of ceiling, or if we're going to run like plastic or... I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do at this moment. You know, it's more of a, you know, we'll figure it out as we go along type thing. Because as of right now, priority number one is getting this finished, getting this ceiling fully insulated, and then we'll go from there. You know what I mean? Um, and that's kind of just where we're at at the moment. We're going to try to finish this up. What happened was I ran out of foam, you know, go figure. Um, you know, you use a lot of it, especially on on a project like this. But I'm out here uh, door dashing, trying to get some extra cash for some more cans of foam. Sorry. And uh, to get some more uh, gas, you know, get my tank filled so I can continue to dash, obviously. That's how it works, you know. Um, and then after I get more foam and I get some more gas in my tank, we're going to go back to the house and we're going to finish insulating the ceiling and stuff. And then uh, try to get some more update videos of progress as we go along, step by step, right? Um, hopefully I'll be getting that update soon, you know, because I really want to try to get this done in the next couple days or so. Uh, so I can try to get to work on finding a ceiling replacement you know, um, and getting that put up there and then whatever, whatever the material is, whatever we're using as the ceiling, you know, I'm going to go to the fabric store or like Hobby Lobby and we're going to go get some fabric of some pattern or whatever I find that I think is cool. And we're going to spray adhesive that and put that onto whatever the ceiling is going to be. And then we're going to put it up there. So you're not going to see any of this, by the way, obviously this is going to be underneath the ceiling layer. You know, from inside, after it's done, it's just going to look like a regular ceiling. You know what I mean? So that's going to be cool. But it's going to be a fully insulated ceiling. And then for the floor, I'm going to leave the factory carpet there. 
I'm because carpet is a pretty good insulator as well and a natural like sound deadener in its own uh, you know state right so I'm gonna leave the normal carpet there I'm just gonna buy and add new carpet I'm gonna do a couple layers of it on top of the existing carpet so it's gonna create uh, layers and it's also gonna be another insulating barrier and another sound deadener so with the ceiling insulation combined with the carpet insulation stuff it should stay relatively a hell of a lot cooler in here than what it than what it would stock you know what i mean um so i'm pretty excited for that also recently discovered some stuff in the back uh in the rear on the sides of this van if you pop off the plastic side panels where the speakers are i didn't know this until i took them off but uh there's actually a factory OEM built uh, plastic subwoofer enclosure box for the speaker system. It's really neat. Um, and the box is totally intact, completely fine. The speakers are blown, obviously, because they're like 20 years old. Um, and they're the cheap paper material, like the cheap knockoff like speakers and stuff that they put into every car from the factory. Um, so they're blown. But obviously everything is still good. So they'll work. You know what I mean? I'm going to swap. I'm going to take them out. And we're going to totally swap and replace those speakers with some replacement aftermarket. Like a little bit nicer speakers. And we're going to get this audio system back here. Back up and running and fully functional again. And with the insulation on the floor and the insulation on the ceiling. Um, it's going to contain that sound in here a hell of a lot better. You won't have to turn the radio up the radio up as loud as you normally would because of outside noise because it's going to be more soundproofed in here so you'll be able to hear the music uh, so much more better it's going to be more concentrated fuller um more you know what i mean you get what i'm saying you know what i mean it's going to be more contained inside the car and it's going to keep a lot of the outside noise out of there prevent all that outside noise from coming in right um it's going to be cool. It's going to work and stuff, obviously, because um, it's all been proven. You know, it's all has facts behind it. It's all been proven and tested and stuff. You know, foam insulation and layers of carpet like it does provide actual insulation properties and sound sound deadening properties as well. So with all that combined, you know, um, I think it's going to be really nice in here. And then moving on from that, we're going to figure out how to run an AC system in here because I don't think we're going to be able to continue on the uh, factory AC system on the van because it just needs so much work for it to be operational again. And it's going to cost a lot of money. And I think it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper if we ran solar panels or a power inverter or a generator or something along those lines as a air conditioning alternative, even if we had to run like just fans. You know what I mean? It's better than nothing, right? And with it being fully insulated, pretty much, it's going to be more efficient at cooling than what it normally would, right? Um, and then if I do that, I can get rid of all the AC stuff in the engine bay, and I can free up a ton of space in there. And it'll make it a hell of a lot easier to get around and work on everything else if all the AC crap is out of the way. So that'd be cool. Um... But yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll give more updates and stuff as we go along, obviously, with progress and stuff. Hopefully the next time you're seeing this, the entire ceiling will already be done and fully insulated. And then we'll just be probably working on putting up a ceiling or something like that. Or we'll be working on uh, the speaker system. Um, but alright guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. Um, well, I'm going to jump off here. And we will catch you guys in the next video. Uh, see you guys.